In this turbulent world of ours, three Abrahamic religions, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, have dominated the Western world to the detriment of the true message from the Holy Bible. From the Worldwide Church of God in Fairfield, California. And I asked Matt to read from Revelation chapter 21, verse, the first seven verses there about a new heaven, a new earth, a new Jerusalem, a God who dwells with us, who will be our God, and the conclusion it comes to, you know, that I am the Alpha, the Omega, this is a true and a faithful saying, and God will be with us, and we shall be here at all things, and we shall be in with, we shall be His Son. It's an, a powerful prophecy for the future. But brethren, I would suggest there's, it's a powerful prophecy for today. Because how many of us today have God dwelling with us? How many of us today live in a new Jerusalem in the sense of our spiritual understanding? How many of us today believe that God has wiped away our sins, that we have a whole new life, a whole new hope, that God has be he begun a good work in us, and he is going to have finished that good work in us, and that he is faithful, and how that changes our life. How many of us believe, for example, today that now we are the sons of God? I'm kind of reminded of 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. And how many of us believe today what love that God has lavished on us? in spite of the fact that a new Jerusalem that's solid streets of gold and a new Jerusalem that coming out of heaven, all of that, hasn't yet transpired. But we believe in a future. But in that belief in the future, we have a life today that changes us so dramatically.